They were waiting for us, but yeah, we're good to go. Here we are, the game's getting live. The first map, Blood Run between Dahang and Evil for Group A for QuakeCon 2013. It's going to be pretty damn awesome. Are we going to see fast-paced shenanigans? We've got Dahang picking up this red armor, and they're Evil. With a l I, I feel so scared for Dahang. I, I saw Evil arrive with the lightning gun, I'm scared. He just got over the lip just in time before the LG got a bit too scary. Dahang, though, is the one who really showed us what levitation means on Rafa oh, on this yeah. map earlier. I think Evil might have a, a bit of newfound respect for the things that the hang is capable of. The next five Quake movies that happen, that clip's going to be in the, all of them. Oh, oh yeah, every single one. And here's the hang. He's, he's got himself a load of weapons, still needs that railgun. Red has been taken, but he looks like he's just sitting pretty, getting himself a yellow. He might shoot over to the top yellow whilst the Evil gets himself a mega health. And a railgun, probably going to be next on his mind, either that or... Evil is going to be on his mind. And you know, we have a very passive start from both players. Mm -hmm. And you can often have this between top players. They want to feel one another out well, before they take the a risk. Isn't it? These yeah. players have never played each other before. They want to they want to be super careful. They don't want to put this themselves in any crazy situations too early on. Th this game is very much based upon knowledge of your opponent and reads. It's a huge psychological component. And that means that if, again, like they don't, as you say, they don't know each other very well. So they want to be like, okay, let's just play very standard. Right? And yeah. I try to take exactly. stuff on my terms. If, it's, if I can't do that, then I won't take a fight. And let's see what kind of stuff my opponents are willing to do. And there you go, to hang with a nice little rail connection there. Trying, I mean, these little moves are going to eventually build them on to a challenge when he thinks he has enough advantage. He's bad like this now, could be it. It's the LG on LG and Evil gets away both of them whiffing their rails. But that was a close one. Dahang possibly th contemplating committing for a lot more LG damage. And yeah, Dahang now he can be like, okay, I had a nice situation that didn't pan out super well, but got myself a yellow. Going to keep just going for it, finding those spots. And let's switch to Rafa actually. See what he's up to Rafa. right now. Oh, Rafa's, might get caught. Rafa's doing a lot. But no. <laughs> Picking up those shards, trying to get that information. The hangs. Did that rocket whiff completely? I think it hit a little oh, ledge, no. but look, we've got lightning gun and lightning gun. The hang missing the rail. There's the LG out from Evil. The oh, rockets are not bad. Goodness. Finally connects. The hang gets the first frag on Evil's map. I like how I said Rafa before. That was pretty awesome. But yeah, that was uh, that was very unfortunate. That rocket hit the lip there, not doing any damage. And the hang taking a little bit of heat there, but he's got the first frag. He's he's done the hardest thing oh, against that's Evil. Solid now, but how long can he keep it going? All this unpredictable moves. Here but Evil is. just goes for a straight up LG fight. He's gonna be uh, willing down the hang stack a bit, but he should be able to heal himself. Yeah, there it is. Oh, Evil comes back out, and then the hang is now in a lot more trouble. He's got rockets. But, but this this is evil. This is did it on quintessentially it was all planned. an evil type play. And you can see it tied up again in a second. He misses the rail shot, tries to get him as he goes through that transitional teleporter. But um the hangs in at such risk and taking a lot of damage here. Evil's got him kind of pinned and hangs like, how do I get out of here? And the lightning gun cells are actually kind of counting down. And this situation is always very interesting. But there you go, the hang with the rocket jump escape. But Evil made the play to go aggressive with the lightning gun, knowing that he would die. Because he knew the items were spawning, and he could die and then spawn next to an item. And yeah. if he gets lucky, this happens. Because he did get a little bit of lucky. There is risk on a lot of the plays. The thing is, he invested all that to get a frag back when he was a frag behind. So we're, we're basically seen what's happened again already after the two minutes. We're back to 1-0 effectively. And he does have mega control now. So this is really, the mega is kind of the key kind of pivotal play, uh, area of the map. If you can have that, then you always can have a little bit of an advantage. Mm -hmm. We could see a bottom yellow taken. No, Evil going to be skipping on by. He wants to get to that red fast. And uh, Dehang's going to be getting the lower yellow armor. We've got a bit of rocket damage. Evil though, taking a jump up. Is he going to find him on the exit? Not immediately. And we've got five seconds until Mega Health. Evil probably going to be thinking about this item. With just one frag separating these two, and another pickup of the Mega for Evil, being very responsible there, of course. And he will catch the Hang here. The Hang can't really afford to take fights in such choke points, has to back away. His options are quite limited at the moment. Actually, I'm going to switch on to the Hang. The stack's fine, they're, yeah. they're very even after Evil. Well, Evil takes the red armor, so now he's back into the advantage. And that rocket from Evil sets him into a much greater advantage. But the Hang is doing absolutely fine, managing to find more resources around the map and keeping himself in a, in a position where he can contend. It is quite surprising how much armor. And look at that rocket bounce there. That might, he might do the cypher double back here. There it is. And, but no, there's no, Evil wasn't sticking around. So the Mega, he, he went back from that Mega. And the Hang right now can just hold this position. He does so. But how is Evil going to attack onto him? Evil, he doesn't have to rush right now. Again, things can be like the early stage, oh, but here is the trap. Hang. 
That was a nice move from the hang. He takes some damage, another direct, and Evil's gonna be thinking twice about going into this room. The hang gonna be able to keep the lead as we approach this halfway mark. And this, he's, he's done very well. Not a lot of people oh. they've kept <laughs> the lead on Evil on Blood Run. And he finds him, he's gonna extend the lead. Uh, what, what was Evil doing there? That was very unusual. Maybe he didn't realize that the hang was around the corner. Oh, wow. We could see another. This could be frag number four from the hang. Oh, he's going to go for it with the rockets, and he does a fantastic job, but the hang does escape. And yeah, Evil, I think he had a miss time there on that red. And the hang is going to take full advantage. But look, the mm -hmm. hang stack, he's not too healthy right now, and Evil is kind of aware of this. And this is the kind of territory where you have to be super afraid of Evil because he's going to come at you most likely with a crazy attack. But the hang. Managing to uh, avoid any such scenario right there and kind of stabilizing once more. There's no yellow at the bottom. The hang maybe waiting around a bit for it, but he can go and head over to the lightning gun instead. He needs ammunition for this weapon. And they get up in just a moment. It's difficult for him to push in without that LG. Missing the rails. This is bad. He needs to get out of here without taking an, an additional rail shot. And he's, he's actually been sitting here for 20 seconds for this yellow army. He's like, it must yeah. be spawning soon. I'll just hold ground. Yeah, that's, blood, that's blood run for you. I mean, you can do that. and. I, I mean, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's a tactic you must resort to mm -hmm. to be able to execute your strategy and be able to get back into the game. And the hang right now, he's got again. He's, he's been able to maintain some good armor. He's avoiding evil very well for someone who's who ready has ever played him. Look at these reads. Oh my God, evil though. Oh, oh rocket here. We've got another yeah, one. He looks for the rail. Oh my. Goodness. Evil had 35 health left, takes the yellow, and he's actually stacking back up immediately. This, we could see a tight game soon if the hang got able to run away oh. into each other's faces. There's the tight score. Evil has done it. Is he going to go again? What a brutal exchange from both players, man. Seriously. Yeah. The hang with almost like such a brilliant rocket defense, but still, Evil, you cannot stop him. I think that rocket, though, gave him maybe a wrong... Oh, hang on, we might see another kill here. We're getting great rockets from the hang. 34 health left. And Evil uh, manages to break away. And as soon as these guys settle down, wow, the hand goes for red, but no more LG for Evil. And they're going to be able to split away once more. And you know that air rocket that the hang hit on Evil yeah. as he dropped down? Oh, yeah. I think it gave him the idea that, okay, I can challenge for this fight now, whereas he was still behind even after that rocket landed. Oh, yeah, a nice little bit of shrapnel there for Evil. Oh, nice he... LG here by Evil. He doesn't care about these grenades. He's going to try and find him again. We could see the separation oh, of the great scores. Rail. That rail right there is really going to allow Evil to go even more aggressive and boom, hits the rail long distance and that is going to deny the hang. He does, he does see the way the red though but and he, and he does keep Evil relatively low. So the hang right mega. now... It doesn't matter too much though for Evil. He might have the lead but he's lost out on control. The hang can be aggressive here but he's got to be careful because Evil, he knows this is it. These players are so high level. He was like, okay, I know what you kind of want to do right now so I want to try to prepare to counter whatever that is. So if the hang gets too aggressive in a spot where Evil's counting on it. Oh, oh actually, hang on, we could be seeing it again. The hang needs to get some good shots going. Oh, LG to follow that is. tied game once more. Well played from the hang. He needed to make it happen soon. Oh, he's going to get another up. one. Oh my. It's just two minutes left. Astonishing. I am. I can't believe he's managed to pick up those frags so quickly when he needed it that bad. Yeah, he, Evil could say, be super aggressive here again, minutes. though. This is kind of the spot where sometimes he goes, okay, I'm going for it. Yeah. I'm just going to go for it with whatever. But he, if he, he didn't get the LG spawn, I think, so it wouldn't happen. But Evil wasting a lot of cells right there. He might not have enough to finish this fight, but nor does the hang. And they both break away with rails, neither of them hitting it, any of them. And uh, Evil's now got to be the one to uh, find something in these final moments of map one. Yeah, I'm going to switch over to Evil to see Me if too. he can <laughs> create something magical with the plasma gun. It is, it is the weapon of comebacks. And here it is. Can he hit an insane amount of plasma? He hit some good oh, damage. The he LG switch. It. Two seconds left for oh Dahang's my. rockets. 13 points of health Dahang had left. He just survived by the skin of his teeth. Evil hasn't given up, but he's going with grenades. This guy's absolutely berserk. Like he has a railgun. Is Dahang going to be able to get away? A rail for a rail. Oh, but Evil trying to pay him another one to hang with a nice move on the lightning gun. And no 50 health bubble. Evil's got to find some resources around the map. Someone tries to get oh, the rail. Man. It was close. The, hang <laughs> the Hang's heart rail. must be just beating through his chest right now. Taking this map is so big for him because he goes over to Furious Heights, which he is so comfortable on. If the Hang can pull it off in these next 45 seconds, he's actually a favorite for the series. Evil also Much incredibly strong on Furious earlier. Heights as well. Hmm. I mean, there's no map where he's weak. Oh he's no, it's super good everywhere. It's insane. There's no clear advantage, but I think that the hang, if he manages to win this, is definitely going to be yeah stri striking some emotions into evil. I don't know, man. We first have to clarify if he is actually a living, breathing 
human being. Good point. He's next Good level point. right right now. I mean, here's the hang. He's going for a bit of a bait, and Evil has 15 seconds left to he's find the hang. And he just can't. He has to find it, and he needs the kill right now. Going to be searching for him, looking for the plasma damage. Breaking back 28 seconds, and he's going to call is. GG. Actually, forfeiting with five seconds. The hang <laughs> takes map one, and we can see there uh, Evil. Got to prepare himself for that next map, psyching himself up for Furious Heights. He's got to make it back for this tiebreaker. And if he does win the tiebreaker map, we'll be going to a toxicity. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's rubbing his hands, trying to warm himself up. Mm -hmm. And look at him. Do, 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 do you see emotion there? I, th I think I see a little bit of emotion. Yeah, I, I, I got to say, man. He, he's the unshakable has been He's shaken. trying to put himself back into the zone, man. He's trying to... He's trying to shake himself up a little bit, sort himself out for that next map. It's going to be very, very important. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting right now. This map is is such an awesome map. It really is, I think, uh, we, we have... Uh, it's my favorite. Yeah, we have, like, map previews later. And, like, one of the things I put in the script was it's, like, the quintessential Quake Live dual map. It, yeah. Like, it's the, the map that came in Quake Live... Um, the kind of the new map, the new map, because we took a lot of maps from Quake Three. But the game's getting underway here. But this is such a balanced map. This is going to be an incredible game. And right now, the hang actually taking Evil down on Blood Run. Right now, it's all on Evil to come back on Furious Heights. Less TP two zeroed, and we are on off on him to begin with as he picks up that lightning gun, gets the Mega LG start, and this is probably a start that he can play better than almost anyone else. Yeah, well, we'll see. He's probably going to be wanting that railgun soon, but he's got that beloved lightning gun dealing damage with it immediately. Is he going to drop down? Because red spawns in oh, five seconds. The, read this is the interception. Oh, that was beautiful. He the was hang, expecting the hang, the hang to go around for the lightning gun. That was that was very, very nice from Evil there. <laughs> and he's going to find him at the oh, bottom. Oh, there he, does, it is. he ignores red. This is going to be first. The hang got instead. I so thought that uh, Evil was going to be able to pick that one up. The clutch rockets right at the end, and he's taking the lead. Unexpected for me. Oh, oh rocket. that rocket! That was so Man. close. Not a homing missile just yet, but here we have the hang picks up the yellow. But look at this aggression from Evil. It's non-stop, and the hang missing that rail there. But things need to stabilize. I don't know if Evil's going to keep piling on the pressure. It's quite possible. There it is. He's going to shut down that choke point to that red armor, and the hang's going to be just looking kind of forlorn, a bit forlorn there. He's like, um. My red armor is gone. Yeah, well, is he going to be able to make it out of this room? He wants to keep this 90 armor. The health he can find elsewhere. Evil dropping down, dealing a tiny bit of splash damage. There's the Mega. The hang, can he go for one more rail? He goes for the peak spam, but no luck. No luck indeed. The hang with that one frag lead is, is really <laughs> defending with his life. Oh, great vertical shot there. Nice little flick. And he's going to catch Evil picking up that railgun. But he has to capitalize on more damage. There it is. But he's going to drop onto the lightning gun of Evil. Evil getting kill. a great engagement. And there is the frag. Perfect play. So that hang hit the shots he needed to. And it allowed him to move down for the drop. It would normally be a very dangerous drop. But it's actually going to be Evil right off the spawn securing himself that red armor. So he might be two frags down. But he's certainly not out of this. Oh, no. Definitely not. The hang picks up the mega. That puts him to 200. There goes the aggression from Evil. He... He, he didn't do that much damage there, actually. Only about oh, 40, 50 or so. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm always expecting a lot when Evil does his little moves. But still, the hang has to get through this choke point. He, I mean, going through the choke points can be very difficult. And look, the plasma gun, the lightning gun. How do you get through? He does. Wow. But Evil so oh. early. Off the spawn, he's going to be getting the rail shot. There's the 50 health double. The hang's going to feel confident enough to go through. That rocket yeah. doesn't matter too much. It's going to be a 4-0. Oh, wow. That Evil, hang is on fire right now. At the red armor, Evil was okay dying there because he's like, if you go for this choke point, I'm happy to stand here because I know you're going to take so much damage. I have an option off the spawn. But off the spawn, he got railed instantly. Evil is not going to see another engagement on our Evil with the plasma gun doing a lot of damage, but the hand keeps picking it up. It's like, you keep on being aggressive because I'm going to keep on racking up that score. This this is Evil's playstyle. Sometimes, if he gets unlucky a couple times in a row, it can kind of blow up in his face. Mm -hmm. But it, it's rare that it happens. It usually, it doesn't happen and it doesn't blow up in his face. Usually, <laughs> it ends up going quite well for him. But this is a time when the hang's really really capitalizing massively on Evil's luck not going perfectly. And here is the mega fight. Oh, Evil's going to drop straight again. Nice Look at this, 6 0 What are we, what yeah, are we seeing? Absolutely incredible. The hang is tearing Evil apart. We're only three minutes in, and already we're seeing a convincing game. Evil's, Evil's got to do something right here, because we know he can build up really nice comebacks. 
but he's got to he's got to switch gears a little bit. He can't keep going aggressive because it's obviously not working for him at the moment. Yeah, that is for certain. At the moment, to hang, he's always uh, he's living life on the edge. He's actually managed to get to 150, 150, and it's been difficult with Evil just on him all the time. But he was giving away frags. A beautiful couple of bombs on plasma connecting there as the hang tries to defend this red. He picks it up, and right now. Evil has to do so much to take down the Hang. I feel like the Hang's got a pretty good read on Evil at the moment. No, it's, it seems like it. He's actually just playing that ABC game we hear uh, so much about, making sure he gets the items and watching out behind him. Let's have a look here. Evil getting another nice bit of lightning gun. Is he going to try and go for a kill? There's the LG. The Hang had the rail out. That's dangerous, but Evil misses his rail shot. Oh, this is going to be the drop down again. Plasma coming out again from the Russian. But the Hang's got that great defense, man. Again, Evil keeps on being aggressive and he keeps on defending. That's so true. 7 to 0 now. We're approaching the halfway mark. And Evil against an explosive player, someone that's able to, with insane amounts of fighting abilities, take things back oh, oh, oh. under control, even if they look like impossible. But the Hang, the problem is, is that the Hang is hitting really well. He's reading Evil well. And. Evil's not not being lucky right now on his risks. Like, the risks that he is taking are not paying off, and that's how it goes sometimes. That is how the dice rolls sometimes. And nice by the hang. He, he's really securing this, his, this game for himself. And we're barely at the halfway mark. He might be able to make it 9-0 to zero in just a second. He's chasing around, and he's going to get the kill. Evil's got to be feeling down in the dumps at the moment. I don't know, I don't know how he's going to be able to really force himself back into this game. This, this is exciting, though. This is exciting news because but the hang is exactly really we, is. we are waiting for Dahang to take his first huge tournament. Could it be QuakeCon 2013, where Dahang really finally says, "Look, I am, I am here. I can win these huge events. I can beat Rafa. I can beat Evil. I can this beat all these amazing players." So much though. This is the event that he waits for that he so desperately wants to win. He was so close last year, but uh, even though he lost uh, to Dahang, he's showing us that Evil is certainly not an obstruction to his goals. Yeah, and defending that 9 to 0 lead, that is quite a lead to defend. I mean, he can just, he can go quite defensive, but something you have to bear in mind is that you should never try to lose grip on the map. You always want to keep a little bit of pressure on your opponent. Even if you never go for any commitments, keep that pressure on and make sure that they are always pushed to hard decisions instead of getting everything for free. So Evil's got a good LG engagement here to hang, trying to nosy his way out. Good rocket though from the hang and another one. That's the, gonna be double digits for the American. 10 to zero. Wow. And Evil must have been quite confident there that he could just push through, try and get some more LG damage. He might have been, he might have thinking, I can get a frag, but be weak afterwards. But he wasn't expecting those direct rockets at the end. And Dahang, he's gonna pick up a nice peak rail, 11 to zero. And how good must he be feeling right now? Yeah, Dahang is just, he must be grinning like a, a monkey at the moment, like a <laughs> big banana grin on his face. Because at he's 11-0 against Evil, and he's looking at a 2-0, and he won Evil's map. Yeah. I mean, the kind of confidence that that's going to bring to him for the future games. And but the thing is, is that Evil gets to he gets time to think about this as well. Because yeah. he, he's not like again. This is just proceedings right Another now. Another frag group yeah. games. No, it, it absolutely is, and uh, it, it doesn't make too much of a difference right now because I think if Evil's going to be happy no matter what side of the bracket he's on in the um, in the playoffs. But the Hang really wants the best. He wants the best he can possibly get. He wants the best odds uh, and play against, hopefully for him, the weaker individuals that he'll see as he'll see it. Most certainly, and 12 to zero we are now with three minutes remaining in the map, and I mean. Even for Evil, this is something that I don't see happening. And there is some great LG, and Evil might even get the frag, but the no, red no. pickup in the middle of that made sure that the Hang survived that onslaught. I mean, the Hang stack has completely dominated Evil, and even right now, Evil's got a good chance, but is the Hang going to go for a crazy jump onto Mega? No, he's a uh, drop down, got himself yellow, and uh, Evil goes above him, but a trail between the eyes, 14 to 0, and uh, Hope is just drifting away for the Russian. It is I'm absolutely. sure he'll still be feeling good though. He managed to uh, yeah. he managed to beat Rafa. He's got himself some good results, but right now he's gotta think of a different strategy against the Hank because what he's been picking has yeah. not been functional. And you know, I feel like I mean one one thing that can occur in tournament play is that you have a player who I mean it's very difficult to change things dramatically in a game. You want to try, if possible, to stick to the game that you prepared for the tournament mm -hmm. as well as you possibly can, making the kind of uh, adaptations to the players within the, the kind of scope that 
your practice allowed you to. Because you're going to practice a certain way, and you can't just change your playstyle completely. You've got to play what you've been practicing, and that can often be a mistake that kills a lot of players. So they're like, oh my god, I had one map, or like one, or two maps, and what I did just didn't work. Yeah. So I have to change completely. It's like, well, well no, you just maybe you just got a bit unlucky. Stick to what you know, and that can definitely yield the results. Because evil, right in this game, I I saw a lot of great moves from evil, but I also saw that the hang got a little bit lucky. In, well, that in, first uh, frag was so close. I was. 99% sure that Evil was going to be able to pick up the first kill, but Dahan came out with a surprise rocket right at the end. Yeah, Dahan's in great shape. This, it's undeniable. He's playing fantastically. Oh, of course. Yeah, and it's great rails there. Another one here for the kill. Can he find it? He's looking for the flick shots. He could switch to lightning gun, but he decides I'm going to get the 19th frag with the rail gun. I'm going to be checking out his accuracies. And it's just pretty modest stuff. He's sitting mid-20s, early 30s for his uh, major weapons. Mm. You know, he's just been uh, responding to Evil so well because he's never really had to initiate any of the fights. 20 to 0 we're seeing now with 30 seconds left. Yep. Just, uh, just garbage time right now as Evil knows very hey. well that it's over Air and rocket. just wants to play out the rest and just run around, you know, think about the game that's just been played and, and uh, just Ma recollect himself. Maybe he didn't do his homework. You know, he's done his homework against uh, Rafa before. Oh. Oh, almost a great combo there by Dahang. Evil might get himself a He turns around and says no. Is he gonna Let get one? Go. Evil got a frag! 1 to 21, and this, the time is about to run out. Ladies and gentlemen, De Hang beats Evil two maps to zero here in the group stage of QuakeCon 2013. Yeah, what a what an impressive result from De Hang. I mean, no one knew what was gonna happen. We we're like, let, let's let's like just let's put these two guys in a little cage and they can fight, and mm -hmm. no one knew how to predict it. But it looked like, as we can see them handshaking there, a lot of respect between the players. That evil, he he met his match in this particular in this particular game. I mean, these guys are so good yeah. that we could probably see, I mean, crazy results. It's still, I think, very hard to predict what's going to happen when they face up next if they do end yeah, up exactly. facing each other. It could be maybe a semi-finals or even the grand finals. Exactly, yeah. We don't know. So there could be some mad stuff happening. I'm not. I'd like to find out what the results have been for the rest of the group stages because. Yeah. That's the end of it, effectively. So I might take a quick peek. Goosey Gander. I think that uh, actually fairly soon we're going to be going over to the double elimination playoffs. We've got to let admins have a chance to really work out the seedings and put oh yeah. everything in order. And then, of course, the players to find each other. But um, we'll find out fairly soon, I guess, what's all the games we're going Is there next. now, having seen a few matchups, something that you're really looking forward to? Beyond everything else, you you want to see this I, match. I really want to see Vu play. Yeah. And I really want to see Zero play. There, I can see and I really want to see uh, Sturmy play. Yes, actually Sturmy Vu. I mean, okay, maybe it's because we're Europeans. Yeah. Maybe that's that's a little bit of a bias there. But I at the same time, they're both two very exciting players who we don't know how well mm. they're going to do because they ha they kind of came from some inact heavy inactivity, and they're they're legendary players yeah. in their own right. So I agree. No, good, good choice. We've, we've had good a <laughs> <laughs> we've had a lot of evil time already, and I feel slightly satisfied with the evil time I've had. Okay, the last map we just saw, he didn't play his best, but I'm I'm still content with the way he performed earlier. Now it's yep. time to see the other Europeans, because I know we're, we're the two Brits here. We can we're we're allowed to be. Can we be biased? Is that okay? I think it, I think it's fine. Yeah, a little bit of bias is good. Adds a bit of color to everything. So guys, we will head up a quick break, and we come back. We'll have more Quake live action here, live from QuakeCon 2013. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss these amazing games.